Okay team, so with everything that's going on with the coronavirus right now, I thought it might be fun if we do a little project together. <sighs> okay. This sounds spectacular. <laughs> you know I'm down, bro. So, I thought what we could do is learn more about grounded theory by interviewing someone to learn what life is like for folks during the pandemic. Grounded theory? What's that? Yo, isn't that a method of qualitative inquiry founded by Glazer and Strauss in 1967 that utilizes a constant comparative method between previous and newly collected data, enabling the researcher to form theories about a phenomenon that are grounded in the data provided by the participants? Yes, that's surprisingly thorough. Are you reading that off somewhere? Anyways, moving on. So the first step of our study is to come up with some research questions. So, what are some things we might want to know regarding our topic of what is life like for folks during the pandemic? Uh, what is life like for folks during the pandemic? I, yeah, that, it's pretty solid, actually. Anyone else? Well, I for one think it would be perfectly delightful to know how their life has changed from before the pandemic to now. Ugh, dude, you took mine. Perfect. Okay, so we have our two main research questions, right? What is life like for folks during the pandemic? And how has life changed from before the pandemic? Now, how could we go about finding our answers? Oh, oh, Jordan, we ask people. I mean, not wrong. We'll need to come up with some solid questions for the interviews to go along with our research questions. Sometimes these questions will be similar to our research questions, and other times it might probe for more information. Then we'll transcribe the interviews. And then as we code it, I love secret codes. Great, great. Now, just to clarify, when I talk about coding, coding is looking through the data for common patterns, themes, or ideas that emerge from the data. That doesn't sound as cool. I hear you. I hear you, but let's not forget, let's not forget that we are doing this together as a team. Yeah, go team! Huzzah! Oh, yay. Like I said, we go through the data individually and we create the codes. Secret codes. <sighs> no, no. Can we take that off, please? Thank you. They're just regular codes. So as we're going through this process, we compare the new data we have come across with the codes we're creating and either add more codes or adjust the codes we have. Basically, we look at the data we're collecting, we look at the codes we've already created, and we're constantly comparing that data to our codes, uh, making changes, adding new ones, taking ones out that don't exactly fit the data we're seeing. So that's that constant comparison method of grounded theory. Then we all come back together, we talk about the codes we found and see if they agree. So we call that triangulation. Yo, three sides, right? This is going well. So triangulation is one way we ensure our findings are valid. If we are all coming to the same conclusions, then we can be more certain that our findings are accurate. Usually, grounded theory triangulates using multiple interviews. Once we finalize all our codes, we gather all the data together and present it using direct quotes from the interviews to support our theory. Whoa, so our theory is grounded in the views of the participants. Exactly. Any questions? Yes, Adam, I, I do have one question really quick. If we're trying to aim for triangulation of data, why are we only interviewing one person? I, look, this is supposed to be a short video, and I'm sort of running out of ideas for characters, so can we just get to the interview? Works for me, bro. Who are we interviewing? Wait, isn't that? I have never seen this man before in my life. Thanks for agreeing to be interviewed today. Of course, it's nice to have someone to talk to. All right, let's see what we've come up with. It looks like one of our main categories was general feelings of anxiety, okay. Under that, we listed a few examples. Let's just see what these are. Uh, so there's a mini panic attack he mentioned when he was out of toilet paper. Yo, in that time he almost shaved off all his hair. <laughs> Classic. YouTubing how to make a face mask with things you have at home. <sighs> Google searches for, uh, I just coughed, do I have coronavirus? And hours of staring into the existential void. The other codes. It seemed as though he spoke of engaging in lots of different activities to sort of ward off the anxiety, if you know what I mean. So, under my anxiety distractions code, I've got uh, watching all nine seasons of The Office, cleaning literally everything, <laughs> attempting to make sourdough bread, uh, snacking, <laughs> watching all nine seasons of The Office again. <laughs> Dude, is this guy all right? It's impossible to know. He is living his absolute best life. Now, is this where we think we should put the parts about making TikToks? I'm a savage. Yeah, Classy, bougie, uh. ratchet. Yeah, that's 
that's where it should go. All right, well, this is great. Uh, so what we do now is compile our results to a cohesive theory about what life is like during the pandemic. As we mentioned before, if we wanted to keep building on this theory, we could keep doing interviews and adding to or adjusting our codes as new information arises until nothing new comes up and our data is saturated. I think we need to add another code. Hmm? There are parts that don't really fit into anxiety or anxiety distractions like this part. Even though this whole thing has been really lonely, being in quarantine, I mean, it's also made me really appreciate things that I don't think I appreciated as much before. Phone calls or FaceTime with family or friends, playing games over Zoom or going, just going to class over Zoom, honestly. Seeing people, hearing conversation, going for walks, feeling the sunshine, just recognizing how much beauty there is around us. Things I definitely took for granted before. That, yeah, this pandemic has definitely made me think more about. Dang, y'all. That was sentimental as f***.